Hello everybody, it is JD here and welcome to today's No Money Spent episode where we have risked it all. That 10,000 MT is all we have, uh, but thankfully we do have a few cards to cash in. But as you can see here, um, through all of these duplicate opals, I just burnt it. Every single bit of MT we burnt today. I started at 1.4 million MT, uh, opened up quite a few heroic packs and then a million MT's worth of these generational packs with the first Invincible of the Year, Trace McGrady. And uh, out of 1.4 mil, well, I sold some stuff and got so it's probably like 1.678 mil, something like that, because I did sell quite a few of the Opals that we pulled. We pulled not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six Dark Matters. Yeah, that's right, six Dark Matters. And you might be thinking, why the hell is this dude not more gassed if he's pulled six Dark Matters a day? That's crazy. Well... Even with six Dark Matter pulls, we still might not be coming out in anywhere close to profit, which is wild. So we're going to cash in all six of those auction outcomes. They have all sold. We'll talk about the new players that dropped today. Uh, and uh, more disappointment from season number six. The only bit of content that we were promised in the blog was the holographic, and it's wild that uh, uh, three basketballs is content, but that really is it for this year's game. The unicorn ball, the holographic ball, and the fireball. They have been added today, but the way you've got to get them is so egregious, it is wild, but it just beautifully sums up how 2K23 is and how out of touch the developers are with this game and this community. So let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for the day videos. Check out twitch.tv slash jdcrossover4 the daily streams and let me know down below i'm sure you open up packs today what did you get did you get in the three percent and get a dark matter or nah so we have got seven challenges for one you've got to evo 10 players horrific uh evo 10 players to get one untradeable uh generational pack uh, you then complete 14 challenges to get a standard badge pack, which you cannot get Hoff badges out of that standard badge pack. So just super exciting stuff as usual in there. And then we come to the lifetime agenda section and we've got the basketballs. So finally, five weeks into the season, there's only six days left, five weeks into a season when it was mentioned in the blog, seven or so months into this game's life cycle, which has only got like two months left, we finally get the basketballs, which we literally had access to last year. Now, if you get all three of them, you uh, are lucky enough to get one random half badge. Now, what have you got to do to get the, ba uh, the balls then? So, the holographic ball, which, by the way, is just a normal basketball. It's not special. It's literally just a basketball. 100 points with the Pink Diamond Season 6 Reward Shaq. So, you've got to Evo Shaq to a Pink Diamond to begin with and then score 100 points with him. Then it gets a little bit stupid. 5,000 points over multiple games for the unicorn ball, which obviously is the ball that has a rainbow trail after it, which is cool. We liked it last year. It was a bit of fun. And now that bit of fun is gated behind 5,000 points. Now, your quickest way to get there is probably going to be a triple threat, uh, whether that's there, co-op or triple threat online. And um, that will take you 240 uh, games to get. 240 games for a basketball which is a cosmetic item which is not a prize ball it doesn't break you don't get anything from it it's literally just a ball 240 games and then if that wasn't enough you also have to win 100 multiplayer games you got to win 100 online games with three dark matters which a lot of people don't have to get the fireball this is an absurd absolutely absurd grind this is like 20 hours to get two basketballs. Because this one, again, this one doesn't even count. It's not even a special basketball. But this one obviously has the rainbow trail. And this has a fire trail. These balls are cool. 20 hours in the middle of May to get cosmetic basketballs. And people defended this on Twitter saying, Oh, but not everybody should have it. I mean, not everybody should be running around with it. That'd be crazy. Are you good? It's a cosmetic basketball. Who cares? It's a bit of fun, but hey, let's let's not have let's not let people have fun. No, no, no. Let's time gate that behind twenty hours. Of, most people can't win a well. Like, what have I done this season? I don't think I've won a hundred games of online this season, have I? I've won 
71 co-op. I've won one unlimited, so we're at 72 so far. Uh, zero there. Four there, so we're at 76. And that's it. This season, in five weeks, I've won 76 online games. That's it. And would all of those been with three Dark Matters? Um, probably not. Maybe some of them, I don't know. I think I was using Opal KG for quite a few of those co-op games. So not even 100 with three Dark Matters. Unbelievable. So out of touch. So incredibly inept at making content that's good, fun, and engaging. Uh, this Who's looking at 5,000 points thinking, oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let me get stuck into that real quick. It's an absurd number that just turns off anybody wanting to do it. And 100 online wins is a brutal requirement. Again, in the middle of May. If these are here at the start of the very game's life cycle, fair enough. If these are in like season 2, 3, fair enough. But in the last week of season 6, in the middle of May, for something that would just be a little bit of fun, just classic 2K, and uh, yeah, that really did not leave a good taste in people's mouth today. That's a really, really poor showing from a really, really poor company. Uh, and it does suck. It really does. Because I was excited to use that unicorn ball. And now I've got to score 5,000 points to get it. And I'm just not going to do that because I don't play the game like that anymore. Nobody does. 5,000 points is absurd. Um, so, yeah, there was that. Happy days. The only bit of, like, content they mentioned in the blog. Took them five weeks to release. And it's time-gated behind, like, 20 hours. And 100 online wins. Despicable. But, you know, it's 2K23, man. What do you expect? What do you expect? We then have, of course, packs, which is the only other thing in this game. Of course, 3% odds at a Dark Matter and 16% uh, odds at an Opal. So today, I went into it with the mindset of, I don't care about this game anymore. We are opening up everything with packs. And I did just that. So the first thing we did was rip 400, 500, 600Ks worth of heroic packs. 600Ks worth of heroic packs. Uh, we pulled a Tim Duncan in here yesterday. Uh, we did cash him in, obviously, to use our, our money. We pulled two Dark Matters. We did pull a KD, now that he's been eliminated from the playoffs. And we pulled another Tim Duncan. So that kind of sucks. So a playoffs KD and a Tim Duncan. We then go into the generational packs with 1 million MT to spend. We come out of it with a Jalen Green. Another playoff KD. And two Patrick Greens. So, you know, I knew instantly, all right, these aren't great Dark Matters. They're not going to do anything for us, really. What you need is, uh, like, a LeBron. I think AD's probably still got some value. A Jimmy's got value. Um, and then, obviously, a Tracy McGrady would have been very nice. Um, but, of course, because he's the one card that you actually want, the odds of getting him will probably still be in the negatives because he is over 2.3 million MT, which is very, very expensive. But as for our six auction outcomes, ha-boom. So KD, KD, Patrick Ewing, Patrick Ewing, Tim D, and Jalen Green. Again, we've probably spent today around 1.678 mil. And uh, we're not quite going to get that back, are we? So Jalen Green, not even. 100k. Is he 100k? Or is, did I just... Did I get screwed, or is he actually a buyout now? He is a buyout now, and again, I'm not surprised. We've then got two Patrick Ewings at just over 100k. We've got Tim Duncan at 146k, which doesn't really matter at all. And then two Kevin Durant's playoff versions. Um, where are we looking? We're looking right here. 300k, I'll take it. I don't know what he is right now. He was 400k this morning. He's now down at three, but that's fine by me. So, from about 1.7 mil... I've pulled six Dark Matters and still lost about half of my worth. Six Dark Matter pulls. Two in these packs and four in these packs. And I've still lost seven, eight hundred K. You cannot make up how utterly, utterly broken this market is, the prices are. It is literally like one or two cards have all of the value. Like the two, one or two good cards have all of the value. Everything else is worthless. And uh, that is a brutal ecosystem to be in. So Patrick Ewing uh, has his normal release. is trash. Nobody likes it. Um, so he's there. Vince Carter would have been a nice one to pull. We didn't pull any Vince Carters today. He is 200k. 
Jalen Green, obviously, not the most hype. And then Shea would have been nice to hit. But even he is just 100k. So you could get a 3% chance and just get 100k's worth back for your troubles. But of course, if you then get that 0.1% chance, a 0.01% chance, and you get the Invincible T Mac, well, then you're making nearly 3 million MT. So the, the difference is, is, is ridiculous. And again, the odds have improved, but it's all relative. Like, have they really improved? To get the top card, it's the same. It's still under, well, it's way under 2% to get the top card nowadays. And the other cards you're going to get, they don't even mean anything. So. I can't believe we pulled six Dark Matters today. No, I can't believe it. And still, we come out in the negative by quite a large margin. Kind of brutal. As for the cards today, they're cool, but as has been much the same this entire year, there is nothing to do with them. Um, if you're going for Limited, if you're going for Bob Pettit, that is open right now. You've got to use players with a 73 ball or lower, so, I mean, have fun with that. Six Rings gets you that Dark Matter Bob Pettit. Not for me, obviously, we didn't go for limited this season. And obviously, I'm very happy with that decision. Got a couple of, uh, you know, duplicates here to, to do. But yeah, it, it really does not matter. Uh, and uh, I'm even tempted just to keep, just to burn the rest of this one mil again. Just rinse it back in. T Mac is 2.6 mil. Two point, it's clearly being botted. I mean, very, very, very clearly being botted do you think that you know real people are all agreeing that this card's price is 2.3 mil but no higher than that do we think that 2.3 mil is just where people draw the line and they're like oh no i can't spend more than 2.3 mil no 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 but 2.3 mil i'll happily spend do you think that's the case yeah i don't think so um as you can see it's very very rare uh, the MT sites will have hold of this card, and he's completely unobtainable. And if you think, oh, there's a new team Mac, the other one will be uh, attainable, not really. Still coming in at like six, seven, eight hundred k, and they are of course the same card. The only difference is this one has a very quick jump shot. The other one has a quick. That's it. This one has 55 off badges. You can find T Macs down here with 55 badges. There's 154. That's an invincible T Mac. That's 58, that's better than Invincible T-Mac. 56, that's better than Invincible T-Mac. 50, Invincible T-Mac, got 1.5 mil. So it's just a weird, weird, weird card to choose to be the first Invincible because now the best shooting guard in the game is Tracy McGrady and the second best shooting guard in the game is Tracy McGrady. Not sure why you'd want to have two of the best, but, you know, nothing else makes sense, so I guess it makes sense that it's 2K. And then as for the generational set, just a quick note about the card art. A two-year-old could do better than this. So, yeah, just... I, I don't know what we're doing. I, I had hopes that the, you know, these balls would be easy to get and we could play with them and have fun. No, no, obviously not. 20 hours, play online, 100 wins, 5,000 points to get a cosmetic item. Uh, and then, you know, you go on Twitter and you see people say, well, not everybody should have it. You know, not, not everybody should have it. It's a basketball, but not everybody should have it. It's fun. Why has everything got to be so sweaty? Uh, I don't understand it. And then you have people defending it, being like, oh, well, at least it's free. At least we can grind it. What do you mean? Like, is the bar really putting basketballs, like, behind a VC paywall? And if it's not, then you give 2K praise and give them a pat on the back? This community, like, I just don't get it. I feel like this game is driving me insane. But there we go. Six time out of pulls. Nowhere near profit, nowhere near breaking even. And uh, yeah, another day, another weekend of, of no content, another week of no content. And then season seven next week, who knows what that is going to bring, but uh, probably a whole heap of absolutely nothing. But I've not got any hopes, which is good. Uh, all hope for this game has long, long gone. That is going to do it for me today, everybody. We started at 1.5678 mil or whatever after cashing everything in. We pulled six star matters and we're down at one mil. So, happy days. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. And peace.